2017 and a very very happy new year to each and every one of you. So today's project we're going to be making a train set. Now then my little boy was lucky enough to get one of these wooden train sets for Christmas which come in a lovely box like this. However they come in a lovely box like this they don't always get put back in a lovely box like this they get scattered around the floor they get lost they get broken they get trodden on it's not a good way to do things. What I think we need is some sort of board to mount them on. Something like this perhaps. Now I know what you're thinking, it's just going to screw a load of bits of track to a bit of MDF and call that a finished project. Well there's going to be more to it than that, I'm going to make it a bit more fancy. I'm going to try and do some interesting fun stuff with it. That bit needs a bit of glue. So stay tuned and see what happens. Right, so the first thing we need to do is cut this baseboard down to size. Now I've designed this layout to take up the full width of the board so we don't need to do anything width wise. But we do need to reduce the length just a little bit, so I'm going to make a cut roughly there just to trim the board down to a more useful size. And to do that I'm going to use a jigsaw. Now a lot of people find it difficult to cut a straight line with a jigsaw. I'm going to show you how to do a perfectly straight line every time. Watch this. Now the first thing you want to do before you even plug the jigsaw in is get a ruler and measure this distance from the blade to the edge of the cutting guide. And here it is just a smidgen, it's three and a quarter centimetres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another mark now. So this is my cutting line and I'm going to make a guideline. And that guideline is going to be three and a half, three and a quarter centimetres on the inside of here. And I'll dot this line so you can tell the difference between the two. And essentially what I'm going to do is take a nice straight piece of wood and I'm going to clamp this along this dotted guideline with a couple of clamps and I'm going to use that to run the edge of the jigsaw along and keep it running in a straight line as it cuts. Watch this. Simple as that. I'll just show you my straight edge against it. Right, so there's a tiny, tiny little wobble there where I just went a little bit off course. But I think you would agree that's pretty damn straight. So the next thing I'm going to do, because I want it to look a little bit fancy, um, because I've got a router for Christmas, thanks mum, um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, use a quarter inch rounding over bit just to give it a nice rounded edge and make it look a little bit nicer. take these pieces of track that form the elevated section of the layout and I'm going to glue them together because they were looking a little bit flimsy before. Okay now the paint's about dry I'm going to start laying the track out. Okay, so what I've got left to do is this elevated section at the back end, which 
as you can see, stuck together with the blood glue nicely. But rather than just prop it up on a load of these plastic stands, I've decided I'm going to make a bit of a relief feature. So I'm going to use sheets of MDF to build up a bit of a hillside at this back end and make it a bit more of a relief map. Um, I think that's going to look pretty cool, so let's do it. watching this project because I've really enjoyed making it and the kids are really enjoying playing with it so it's a bit of a win-win situation all around. So as I said at the start of the video this is my first project of 2017. Uh, the channel is now about six months old, I've done 20 projects, 25,000 views and I'm just coming up on 200 subscribers so thanks to all of you for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting and I love all that kind of stuff. Let me know that you're still interested and to keep on doing what I'm doing. Um, as always, in the description for the video, there's all my social media links. It's Facebook and Twitter and the other stuff as well. Patreon. I like Patreon. Support the channel. Sponsor me. Um, so, yeah, 2016. Bit of a bum year, really. Um, a lot of really cool people died. A lot of really horrible people didn't die. Um, hopefully 2017 is going to be a little bit better. Um, we'll just have a little think about what's going on this year. There's my bristle bot that I've still not finished. And hopefully I'm going to finish that in the next 12 months. I've got a really cool project here, this guitar, I'm going to do something really good with it. I'm not going to say what yet, but it's going to be a really good one. You'll like it, trust me. Um, yeah, what else has been going on? Um, America, um, they elected a new president, Donald Trump. Um, he's due to be inaugurated in about a week's time on January the 20th. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fallout shelter out of pallets at some point. That's totally unrelated, but just sort of let you know that's the project in the pipeline. Um, so, until then, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.